I don't know, it's like I want the world to smell my hair. Like, do you smell my hair? You know? Well, hello, hello, beautiful people. It's your girl, Shabby Bear, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, thanks for stopping by and hitting that play button. In the meantime, as well, don't forget to hit that subscription button and the notification bell. That way, when I post a new video, you'll be the first to know. As you guys can see, I'm in a different setting, and that is because I'm in my bathroom today. And I will be doing a review, a quick review, um, on this product here. And if you guys have been following me, you know that I do not really come on my channel to do reviews. But anyway, I have to do a review on this one because I have been liking the results of it, okay? So real quick, um, I'm gonna show you kind of my new wash routine. As you can see, you guys, I have locked. This jewelry is gonna make uh, 10 years, actually. And um, even though I have this length, I actually cut my hair a couple years ago about three inches. So it technically should have been longer than this, y'all. But um, anyway, I'm gonna do a quick review on this product because I really like the results of it. I've been just kind of just using like oils, like I'll use like black castor oil or black seed oil or just coconut oil and I'll kind of just do my root. But I haven't been really good at really keeping my roots really moisturized. Really? I've decided, you know, let me try something different, try to keep my roots moisturized and all of that because sometimes my hair gets really dry, you know, sometimes. And so I decided to start doing a new wash routine. But anyway, I went to the store and I hardly go into like the beauty supply stores because I really don't. Again, I try to use just natural products in my hair. I stick to just the same old, same old um, like shampoo. Sometimes I use like Shea Moisture or the other day I found a really nice a natural one free from like parabens and sulfates and dyes and all that extra stuff um, called Ren Pure. I really like it. I use the tea tree and lemon sage, I believe and it is just really really refreshing it leaves your hair feeling really refreshing moisturized and all that i'll try to link it also in the description below but i've been loving that uh, shampoo and i use the conditioner as well the coconut cream this uh, shampoo right here tea tree and lemon sage but anyway this video is not really about the <laughs> shampoo and all of that um so i've been using that and the other day i was like you know let me stop at the beauty supply store real quick um, because I was getting ready to wash my hair. Let me see if I can find like a natural oil or something like that that I can just spray. It's easy to be applied versus having to pour the oils out and all of that. So I stumbled upon this beauty right here. It's called Tropical Roots. And the name actually drew it to me too because as you guys know, I'm a tropical child. I'm from the islands and I looked at the ingredients and they were pretty good. I mean, for the most part, you know, it had really good oils like eucalyptus oil, uh, coconut oil, rosemary oil, sweet almond oil. And these are things that I already use in my hair. Sage, burdock root. Um, that is a really great herb actually. But anyway, aloe vera. Uh, stuff like that so it has some really good oils castor oil so i was like okay perfect it has um oils and stuff like that that i use anyway so i decided to pick it up plus it smells really good um it's pineapple and guava and apparently it helps to stimulate growth so i was like let me give it a try and guys i am telling you it it's not heavy or anything so it doesn't leave your hair uh feeling heavy uh like certain sprays that you would use it's very light and I am telling you, since I've been using this, my hair has just been feeling just really softer. I've been using it on a regular basis like every other day. Um, and so my hair, my roots has been feeling really, really good. I'm gonna take this off in a bit. I'm, a, I'm gonna get ready to wash my hair. So I'm gonna show you real quick my new routine of washing my hair and applying this spray but um i felt like i had to do a video real quick on this because i'm very particular and i'm very picky with what i actually put 
in my hair but i'm really pleased with this it smells great like whenever i use it my hair i don't know it's like i want the world to smell my hair like do you smell my hair you know um but especially these days wearing masks and stuff i'm sure it's really hard for people to actually smell my hair you know i'll show you guys real quick uh, my wash and go routine guys i talk too much sometimes i feel like i talk too much in my videos sometimes i feel like i just say all these extra stuff that is absolutely not necessary but um <laughs> let's get right into the video all right you guys so first i'm going to i uh, have this spray bottle here right um i just added some apple cider vinegar some apple cider vinegar and water in this bottle right and i'm just gonna shake it up yeah, you obviously want to shake it up <laughs> and as you guys know apple cider vinegar acts as a natural uh cleanser okay so i'm gonna just spray before i wash my hair ah i love my hair oof the smell y'all the smell is strong a few months ago i did a video on my first acv rinse y'all the results were really really good my hair felt lighter i was able to get rid of a lot of like you know the dirt and stuff like that the build up i should say um in my hair um so i'm gonna leave that link below and make sure that you guys um go ahead and watch that video if you haven't watched it already so yeah anyway i'm just gonna spray my roots soaked okay so prepare to get soaked you want to make sure that you're saturating your hair as much as possible so yeah you just want to wear something that you don't really care about um that you weren't like really planning on wearing out obviously so i left it in for about 15 minutes i'm still like kind of moisturizing it and i can already feel it's kind of like lifting the dirt um, from my hair i had just washed my hair uh, like a week ago maybe like a week and a couple of days but um but I can you know I can feel it lifting the dirt um, but anyway, I'm just going to spray a bit of this growth oil onto my scalp before I rinse it out um, I'm still going to spray it after after I wash my hair Ooh, it is burning my skin y'all this apple cider vinegar is no joke all right, but um, <laughs> I look on, I'm looking on here crazy, all sorts of crazy. <sighs> but I'm doing it for y'all, I'm doing it for y'all. It may seem crazy spraying this like onto the apple cider vinegar, but trust me, okay, just try it. You won't know until you try it, all right? You don't have to do this step. You can absolutely skip this step. You can just do the, use the apple cider vinegar and water and spray it onto the scalp and then just go right ahead and wash your hair. And then when you're done, then you can use this. But um, I'm doing both. I'm using it now. And then I'm also going to use it once I'm done washing my hair. Um, lately, I've just been having my hair just loose, just, I just want it to be free you know I'm trying to put as less strain on my hair as possible since lately so since lately I've just kind of been washing and going just kind of leaving it I've always been the type to not want my hair to just hang when I wash my hair um, I've done previous videos and if you've been following my channel you've seen where I would do like these twists uh, two strand twists or these short bob styles and all of that um, I absolutely love styling my hair. I know how to style my hair, but lately I've just been wanting it to just give it free, especially um, being home more. I don't really have the need to, you know, be styling my hair as much, um, but I've been absolutely loving it and I've been just embracing just wearing my hair down like this, you know, it feels great and I feel like it's really been helping my roots um, because you, as you know locks 
it can get thin at the root or you know if you put too much strain on it that can definitely break the, the root of the locks and stuff like that break your hair and all of that so um, I've been trying to like not put too much strain on my hair and I advise you if you are somebody who you love styling your hair that's great and everything but it's also good to give it a break here and there at least for you know a few weeks or maybe like a month just give it you know a break I'll do like if I'm going somewhere or you know um, running out or work or something I'll do like a quick style but it's nothing as crazy as what I used to do with a whole bunch of pins and tight buns and everything like that uh, it's nothing close to um, so yeah, I definitely recommend that you let your hair sit for, or rather you let your hair, you know, get a break for a minute, at least a few weeks or something like that, okay? All right, so I think I've chatted enough and I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair and I will be right back. All right, you guys, so I just went ahead and washed my hair. Um, I am telling you, like, using the apple cider vinegar, um, you know, before you wash your hair, it is a game changer. It will definitely, you will feel the difference. Um, you will feel that it, you know, lift the dirt and all of that. So if you have not been using it as a part of your hair washing routine, I say definitely try it out. Um, you don't have to do it often. I know sometimes time may not permit, um, but I definitely say do it at least once in a while. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, Wild Growth Hair Oil. I started using this recently, by the way. Um, forgot to mention that, but I love it because the ingredients is very simple. Now, I like when my products are really simple. It just has coconut oil, olive oil, cocoa butter, pumpkin seed, lentil, um, sesame seed, essential oils like sage, eucalyptus, frankincense, um, grapefruit, lavender, peppermint, um, it has jojoba oil, um, and that is pretty much it. So the ingredient, and chickpea, and extracts of mushrooms, you guys. So I absolutely love this, and it smells very just herbal, just earthy. Um, some people may not like the smell a lot because it smells so, it is very strong, um, but I love it. I absolutely love it, and so I feel like that's why I find that this is a great like combination, a great mix because um, this is a very strong smell. However, this is a very like fruity, refreshing smell. So I feel like they go great together. But I'm just gonna go and oil my roots. <laughs> By the way guys i also wanted to mention i don't know maybe it's a mind thing or something but i also feel like it has been strengthening like the side of my or it's growing um i should say the side of my hair um i have really soft hair and even before i locked my hair has always been just super soft um and so growing up for some reason i always had like thin kind of like thin edges here the my sides has always been really thin but I don't know I feel like since lately you know moisturizing my hair daily or I forgot to mention that I've been not the apple cider vinegar but I've just been using water and I may put like a little bit of oil in the bottle and spray my hair and I've been trying to do that on more of a daily basis or every other day basis um, so that has really helped with moisturizing my hair as well. So not just the oils, but also just adding water to your hair on a daily basis will, will definitely help you to keep your hair moisturized, especially in this winter season. Um, whether or not you have locks, if you have loose natural hair locks, it does not really matter. It really helps with moisturizing your hair. But anywho, I've been doing that, but using the oils and doing that, guys, do you see that I have like, I don't have a before photo <laughs> really, but um, just know and just believe that it really does seem like I have a lot more hair 
um, side here because I did not have this much here on the side. But anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there real quick. And I have not been using these um, oils very long. <laughs> maybe like a couple weeks or something. So I don't know if I'm really qualified to do this video, um, but just to show you that, you know, I honestly, I feel like uh, there's a difference, you know, and I've only been using it for like a couple weeks or so. So hopefully I'll probably have it before and after um, photo or video for you guys in the next um, couple weeks or couple months or so. Okay, now that I've moisturized uh, my roots with this, good stuff um, now I'm gonna go ahead and um, spray my hair with this oil I'm gonna try to saturate saturate my root um, as much as possible as well as the ends sometimes we forget that this is actually a part of her hair as well <laughs> so I suggest try ends as much as possible not just the root All right, beautiful people. Well, that is going to be the end of this wash and go routine for today. Some of you guys may know that if you've been following my channel, um, these hair types of videos, they're not the only type of videos that I do on my channel. I do um, like business related content, how to purchase your first home, stuff like that. Lately, I've been doing the notary loan signing agent business videos. Um, as some of you guys know, I also do that as a um, side business, um, as an independent. Um, contractor I work for myself doing that and I enjoy sharing um, business tips uh, in that area uh, to help you and to help your business grow you know as a notary loan signing agent so I've been enjoying sharing like tips on that and I share other like random videos just whatever I feel like will be able to help um, help you and I just enjoy sharing experiences so um, I do hair videos from time to time but again that's not the only type of video Videos that I do on my channel so don't ask me what my niche is I have absolutely no idea but one day we will figure it out okay but anyway if you want to see more videos like this or more videos in regards to you know business building or tips and stuff like that don't forget to hit that subscription button as well as the notification bell as well that way whenever i post a new video you'll be the first to know okay so again it was your girl shy vivia it was an absolute pleasure let's get well together and i'll see you guys later be blessed bye, -bye.